In this video, we're gonna be talking about why you are not making enough money with your side hustle. So what I found with business owners who are trying to get a side hustle set up, who are maybe still uh, working in a, in a full-time job and haven't quite been fearless enough uh, in order to walk away from that job or even go part-time and jump into their side hustle, it's normally down to about five different reasons. The first one of those is that they uh, are not marketing enough. Um, one of the things about running a small business is that actually, you know, in this day and age, marketing is incredibly complex and it takes up a lot of time. And, you know, when you're working in a full-time job or even a part-time job, and you should be spending sort of, I don't know, 70, 80% of time marketing your side hustle, it means that you just don't have the time to be able to put into like being on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and LinkedIn, and all the different social media platforms out there, you know, and there are constantly other platforms coming onto the marketplace, and it's incredibly confusing. And so what tends to happen, procrastination starts to kick in, and all of a sudden our marketing, like we, we don't get the immediate results that we want to get. We're doing the posts and things like that, but we're not getting the leads and inquiries and sales that, you know, all of the gurus and experts promised us. And so, you know, our marketing just starts to slow down. And the thing is like, marketing is a bit like paying a bit of money into a, a savings account that has compounding interest. Like you make most of your money in the last 10% of the time that your money is invested in whatever, you know, wherever it's invested. Like it's, you just crawl along like that for, for weeks, months or years. And then all of a sudden you get this um, like uptick at the end of it, this, this kind of um, trajectory of success. And so a lot of people are doing side hustles, just don't put enough time into like marketing. And I don't mean like they're not putting enough effort in, you're probably putting a ton of effort in, you're just not spending enough time, like giving it enough time when you put a marketing campaign together. The other thing as well is like when you're doing it as a side hustle, there's not enough time to experiment. So it might be like when you've got a product, for example, like, you know, a lot of people talk about market niches, product niches and things like that. Um, but it might be that actually you're targeting the wrong niche. And so if, you, if you're not targeting the right sort of audience, then it means that when you are cranking the handle on the marketing side of things, it's just not being seen by the right people. But you don't have the time to be able to experiment and do different marketing campaigns targeting different audiences. So find quick and easy ways to be able to uh, test out your marketing campaigns on different audiences. Like think about Facebook ads, for example. You know, you can target a million and one uh, different audiences on Facebook. So try and set up your campaigns in such a way that at least you're testing different audiences, different segments, and analyzing it and just seeing where your leads and inquiries and things like that are coming from. And it might be that you're not generating leads directly from the Facebook ad campaign, for example, but it will give you valuable valuable data back about um, you know who is going to be interested in your products or services that you're selling. The third thing is around branding. So a lot of side hustles I've noticed have got either DIY branding or no branding at all. So DIY branding, they've made the logo themselves or got their sister, mother, brother, whatever to, to design um, their logo for themselves. So it doesn't reflect the really great product or service it is that you're selling as a side hustle. Um, you know, or, or you just don't have branding in place in the first place. Now, everybody says, you know, don't judge a book by its cover, but unfortunately people do. Um, and so if you don't have a cover, cover at all, that's what branding is, people are just not gonna, they're not gonna take you seriously. So is it any wonder that you're not maybe getting traction that you want to get with your side hustle? The other thing as well is um, around being consistent. And so bit, bit in the same way that you don't have time to do the marketing, but actually generally day to day being able to do your business, uh, your side hustle and treat it like a, a business and sit down like each and every day cranking out the same message like consistently actually takes a lot of time and effort you know but actually if you if you gave yourself half an hour to an hour each day you know let's talk about like you know get home from work have your tea put the kids to bed spend an hour like making some videos which you put out onto YouTube, but pick one platform, pick one form of media and do it consistently. Because what starts to happen is, imagine you've got a Facebook group with a thousand people in it and you start doing a video at 8 p.m. every evening. The night you miss doing a video at 8 p.m., people are gonna be sending you messages going, hey Rob, is everything okay? So actually like consistency is key because it starts to train people a bit like Pavlov's dog to show up at particular times and engage with you and your brand and your business. And finally, the other thing is just generally not putting in enough time at all. You see a lot of like these FBA businesses, drop shipping businesses, 
Bitcoin businesses going like blowing up all over the place and there's loads of like buzz about it like 1% of them are successful like they make it sound like it's really easy to set up a Facebook ad campaign never see a product that you've imported from China and boom you've got a million pound a year business it's just not like that any business is going to take time money an investment in, in order to get the success which you want to get out of it. If you're spending like 30 minutes a week on your side hustle, you are just not gonna get any success. And quite frankly, you might as well just give up. So either make the commitment to put some time into it, or, or you know, find other ways, like if you can afford to start outsourcing work. So, you know, you might have to invest some money in your side hustle in order to give it the momentum which it needs in order to grow. But if you're just putting like half an hour a week, like, you know, the four hour work week, yeah, four hours is like, you know, eight times as much as doing half an hour a week. Um, so you could potentially start to grow some kind of a side hustle or business on four hour, you know, a four hour work week. But the whole Tim Ferriss, like four hour work week thing is a little bit of a myth. Um, most of uh, his kind of methodologies are based around putting a shit ton of effort to start off with. And, and then once you've like systemized it and made it teachable, learnable and repeatable, then you can start to outsource some of that work and give it to other people. But you've got to create the systems processes in the first place before you can start to build and bring in other resources to help you out. So hopefully that's kind of given you a bit of a background in terms of like why side hustles don't tend to work. Um, if you do the opposite of some of those things, which I said, if you do market enough, if you do target the right audience, if you do niche um, and get your branding sorted out, if you are consistent and if you do show up regularly and often with that same consistent message, I put the time in, you will have monumental success with your side hustle. You can make this work and be realistic about like the goals which you're setting yourself. Don't think that like year one, you're gonna go out and build a million dollar a year like side hustle. It just doesn't, like it works for like 0.1% of the people who have side hustles, right? And those are all of the good luck stories we hear about. But probably you would admit that a good success might be to start generating 200 pound a month or 500 pounds a month or even a thousand pounds a month through your side hustle. So that gives you the confidence to start stepping away from your job or whatever it is that you're committed to at the moment. Hey, listen, if you found that helpful, please do give me a little bit of a thumbs up, a like um, on the video. It just helps other people to find this video, shows them that you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more videos like this, then please do hit the subscribe button. Uh, we try and put out regular content to help small business owners just like yourself to grow your businesses. Mm -hmm.